Hi guys, welcome back to Coffee City. Some Barty Gang members, Cardi B's fans, are not happy with her, okay? They have been having meetings, talking about the fact that Cardi B is not putting out any music, just going in on their favorite. So Cardi B liked a tweet that says, Now y'all complaining about wanting new Cardi music? But when she shared that snippet, it was so many think pieces as to why the song should be scrapped. Nah, shut the F up. Now we probably won't be waiting until 2024 before we get a Cardi single shaking my head. And as you can see, Cardi B liked that tweet. So her fans are worried. They were saying, oh my goodness, we're not going to get any new music from Cardi B. But Cardi B posted this video of her in the studio. So even though she liked that tweet, she is still working, okay? Joe Button gave Meg Thee Stallion a huge shout out. He says that he loves Cobra by Meg Thee Stallion and whoever does not like it are haters. So Megan shared that on her story, okay? She shared it on her Instagram story and fans were confused because Joe Button has always been a Tory Lanez supporter. So they were not here for Megan sharing what Joe had to say on her story listen as an artist you get excited when you hear something positive about your work okay so the fact that joe button of all people said that about megan's song of course she's excited and she's happy so she shared it so i don't feel like people need to be thinking too deep into it joe button also said this you went over there and gave cardi that mid knowing you had this heat in your studio <laughs> That's what she did. <laughs> she went to Cardi's studio with that Congo bongo bullshit that they both did and left like, gotcha. <laughs> and she was in there getting information too, like, you going, you leading out with this? This your first record? Hey, when you drop it? When, 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 when it's dropping? Yeah. yeah, no, this is gonna, this is gonna rattle. Right, this is it right here. It's gonna rattle the clubs. I might even come right after you. <laughs> 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 might even drop my record. How long? We should do like a combined rollout. The artists are shady. <laughs> artists are shady. I'm telling you that this happens. Gonna, Tell me I'm wrong again when Cole think I'm right about everything. <laughs> now, Cardi was the one that reached out to Megan with that song. So it's not like Megan was the one that brought the song to Cardi. So how is Megan playing Cardi's face? Make it make sense. <laughs> Nicki Minaj posted this on her story. And as you can see, she's letting her fans know that she does not approve of them making threats to anyone. And she has never approved of something like that. So she was just making it clear. She also put Soulja Boy in check because J. Cole did an interview where he mentioned Soulja Boy. Soulja Boy was not here for it. He went on live dragging J. Cole and saying some ready, you know, mean things about J. Cole. So Nicki Minaj went on live with Soulja Boy. Let's get into that conversation. Let's chop it up with the queen. Hey. What's poppin', queen? How are you? Do we have beef? I wouldn't call it beef. I just feel like we gotta, we just gotta set some, set the record straight. You feel me? Set what record straight? Set it straight. Man, I don't understand why people like to get on the internet speaking on soldier. I don't speak on these people. Oh. Oh, I thought you had beef with me because you had said something after the VMAs, and I was like, oh, let me find out. Soldier <laughs> mad at me. Ah! Yeah, uh huh, uh huh, yeah, run it back, ah, run it back. Oh, Nikki yeah, just press, Nikki just press me. Oh, oh my you damn right. Now, nah, oh, I'm, yeah. I'm gonna say it like, I'm gonna say it like this, Nikki. We love itty, itty, itty bitty piggy, we love your performance, we love everything you do. But MTV, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, Let me tell you, what you what. If you talking about like if you should have been invited like yo i would have loved nothing more than to have you there let me tell you so that you know because see this is what happens with this is crazy this no. is crazy mtv soldier boy hold on let me tell you what i what and this is a prime fucking example right of how shit can go left real fast okay so um i don't know if you know but like i ended up having to perform three times and hosting a show and doing a red carpet right right um it was at the last minute number one that i even decided 
what I was going to perform in that slot. So, of course, I went there. I, I had my regular performance where I did last time I saw you a bit different. And I had to do something else, right? right. That that we that that we added, the you know, when we decided what that I was gonna do itty bitty piggy, it probably was like I'm talking about days. Nick days Nikki, before. Nikki, you can perform itty bitty piggy whenever, wherever. That wasn't, you know what I'm saying? Like I love that. You know what I'm saying? That's all support. You went up there, you did your thing. That's support. I can't be mad at that. MTV though, it's with MTV. It's nothing to do with Nikki. Anything you do, we support you. You know that. I even commented. I said the performance was fire. MTV just called me, hit my phone, and let me know what's going on out here in these streets. Mm -hmm. It's nothing to do with Nikki. Don't never get it confused. Nothing to do with Nikki. We love Nikki. Well, I, I mean, listen. The last MTV show was the best show in years, and as you can see, whenever the Queen is on the show, the ratings. Go through the fucking roof, okay? Exactly. So when you said that, I knew that you might have meant, you know, maybe your feelings were feeling a certain way. And I wanted to let you know that if I had it my way, you would have been right up there with me, you know? Yeah, um, thank you. Thank you. Y'all heard what she said? Y'all heard what she said, MTV? That's from the queen's mouth. But every, you know? No, but it's not MTV 4, babe. Like, seriously, we were... We, I wasn't even gonna perform Itty Bitty Piggy. Do you know that I was supposed? It was supposed to be your love, to be honest. So, actually. so basically, it was like some yes. last minute, like last yes. minute. Yes, and I, I couldn't even like I was going in for my own performance. Okay, so I ended up having to even do Red Booby. Like I couldn't even, I even remember the words of that shit. So I was just trying to, you know, do whatever I, they asked of me, and it, you know, in, M, in M, MTV's defense, Soldier Boy, like. They had no clue it was gonna be itty bitty until very until at the very end. Like we were gonna do you all up, and then at the end, I'm like, man, this shit. I don't know if I want to do something that feels so slow and like dragged out. And so we changed it. But even for Red Ruby, I would have wanted to have Lumi D come out. You know what I'm saying? Like if right. if those things were per, like songs I was gonna do in advance, we would have did it in a better way. Exactly. You know, it has nothing to do with my love or and respect for you or Lumi D. But that's really the truth of what, you know what I'm saying? All right. Well, it's now, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's never no disrespect to the queen. We love and support everything you do. I just felt a little a little certain type of way with MTV. But you got it cleared up. It's all good. Let, you know what I'm saying? Let me like, tell you. You, you, you. Let me tell you something. You're an icon. Told you what. Let me tell you something. Whether or not I go to a award show for the next five years, guess what? I'm that bitch. Okay. That's right. That's okay? right. I'm, okay. I'm, right. I'm that. I'm really that girl in the room or out the room. Okay. I am the. I am the the, the motherfucking queen in any room that I stand that's, in. Okay. That's a fact. So let me tell you something. Whether you at a motherfucking award show or not, you are who you are. That's right. That's right. I ain't mad at nobody. It's just the fact that J Cole. Why is you going on a podcast talking about you don't like my music? Who, who cares what you like, fam? Babe. You know what I'm saying? Babe, I, babe, he never said that, babe. What did he, babe. What did, what did he say? He said he that, say? that he said that he what he had to keep it real with himself and admit that people like you are are what was really like keeping the wave going and like really bringing the energy. And some people, and he didn't want to really say that to certain people. Or admit that he admit that, or he he basically gave you props, like yo, people like you. So what the fuck was you on when you misinterpreted it, and now you sitting here doing the most again? I, I don't know, man. I guess so. I'm gonna go with y'all. If Nikki, that's the last person that stamped it. Nikki say I heard it wrong. I heard what I heard, but all right cool he's you know not even that he don't even strike me as that type of person and you you know like he why would he out of nowhere just come on somewhere and say all right let, no he that's he, he that's, didn't what say, I, that's exactly what i said i'm like hey he didn't say that boo now after they had that talk soldier boy went on twitter and he apologized to j cole so that was really nice of Nicki minaj but let me know what you guys think about this and please don't forget to like this video and i'll see you guys later